Hey guys, I'm Alan Zirkel with Mr. Z's Music Lessons. Today we're going to be doing an acoustic guitar tutorial of the song Build My Life by Passion. In the description of the video there's links to the chord chart and the original song and also an acoustic guitar cover of me playing the whole song if you want to check any of those things out. So let's jump into the lesson. So we're going to start with the intro and verses of this song. And before we get started, uh, sorry about all these weird glares on the wall over here. I need to get some curtains or something that's sunny out this morning and the sun's just kind of coming in and making a weird pattern on the wall. So for the intro and verses, we're going to need three chords. We'll need G, C, and then G over B. So I'm going to show you each one of these chords in case you haven't played them before. So for the G chord, we want our first finger on the second fret of the A string, our second finger on the third fret of the E string, our third finger on the third fret of the B string, and our fourth finger on the third fret of the E string. And we're going to strum all these strings. Then for the C chord, just leave your third and fourth finger where they were on the G chord. And then the first finger will play the second fret of the D string, and the third finger will play the third fret of the A string, and we'll strum from the A string down. Then for the G over B chord, again, Leave your third and fourth fingers there on the third fret, and then we'll use our first finger on the second fret of the A string, and we're going to strum from the A string down. Now our strumming pattern for each one of these chords is the same. Our pattern is going to be down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. So it's how like. Just continue to repeat that chord progression for both the intros and all of the verses. Now let's go over a chorus one and two. And for this part, we need one more chord that we didn't talk about at the beginning of the song, which is A minor. So I'm going to show you how to play that real quick. We'll put our first finger on the first fret of the B string, our second finger on the second fret of the D string, and our third finger on the second fret of the G string. And we'll strum from the A string down. <laughs> And then the strumming pattern for this, and I do want to say as I'm teaching strumming patterns that I really think strumming patterns are kind of subjective. I think you should play whatever feels most comfortable to you, but I'll show you how to play it like they play it on the album, just in case you want to learn it uh, exactly like they play it. So for this part, it's kind of a long strumming pattern. We're going to play down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. And it's a very kind of consistent rhythm, you're just steadily strumming, you don't really pause at all, it's just straight through. So I'll play the whole chorus for you once. And at the very end of the chorus, whenever we get to the C chord, we're just going to let that one ring out, so just strum once on that one. And that's it for course one and two. Now let's go over the interlude and bridge. And we need another chord for this part. We need a D chord. And let me show you how to play that. So we're going to put our first finger on the second fret of the G string, our second finger on the second fret of the E string, and our third finger on the third fret of the B string. And we're going to strum from the D string down. And I'm just going to play through this interlude part and then the bridge because I think I can just play through it and sort of say what to do as I'm going and be less confusing for you guys. So we're going to start out on our C chord and we're just going to strum whole notes on these first chords through the interlude and we'll play the interlude twice. So we'll go one, two, three, four, and I'm just strumming down, one, two, three, four. And we'll repeat that again.
bridge, we're going to do the same thing. Just still whole notes. We'll play through the whole bridge with whole notes. Same progression one more time. As it starts building, we're going to play quarter notes. eighth notes. Still only strumming down. So that for, that's it for the bridge. You just kind of start out slow and then as it builds your strumming gets a little bit faster. Then on chorus three and four we're going to be playing sixteenth notes. Just strumming down up down up over and over again. And I'll just play through this chorus progression one time for you. You'll play it twice when you play it along with the song. So after you play chorus three, then you go down to chorus four and play the same thing. And then after that, it jumps back to the bridge. And you'll play the bridge chords with the strumming pattern that I just played, the 16th notes going down and up, alternating. And then the very last chord of the song is a C. So you just uh, strum that C one time. And I think that's all you need for this entire song. So that's it for this lesson. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions or anything in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next video.